here with another sprinkler video. This is actually going to be a mini video. Um, I found another sprinkler today. It's another old rainbird. It's on zone two. The one with the three in the middle of our front porch. I mean front yard. Oh, you'll see it. So It's those three. Originally, that's what I thought. That's the only ones that I thought were there. The only sprinklers that I thought were on that zone. But I'm spraying weeds earlier today, that big patch of weeds right there. And I go back there and I see the rainbird one that I found in my 300th video. And I come across another one. Right there. It's another old rainbird. It doesn't spray very hard. But I found another old rainbird. We have a lot of these installed actually. So that was it up close. Um, the one I found in my 300th video is somewhere over here. See the fence is wet. Because I was doing some testing earlier today. Doing some fine tuning on the MP rotators. But um, somewhere here. There it is right there. I thought that was the only 360 we had installed. I'll try and catch this one going down. Should go any minute now. Oh, guess what? This isn't going to be a mini video, actually, because I had to, uh, I have to edit it, so it's just going to be a regular video. Unfortunately, sorry guys, I haven't done a mini video in a while. So yeah, I'll show you all the ones we have installed after I empty my memory card, because it's about to be full. Be right back. Fun. And I also, this whole chest here is full of sprinklers. Stay tuned to see them. I'm back. Alright guys, so um, this is going to be the part, the part of the video that I show you the old ones that we have installed in our system already. One right there. Boom. Right off the bat. Didn't notice this one. I noticed it, but I didn't notice it was an old Rainbird. It's a 180. Doesn't always pop down. I actually made it pop down better, and this is the one that has the very, very short pop-up. Like, maybe it's like an inch or two, but that's all it pops up. So it's probably like a two inch. But there, there's a ton of crap and dirt and stuff in there, like, building up. So I, what you do with these sprinklers is you hold the head down and let it flush all that dirt out. That's how you get rid of it. Here's another one. Another 180. What else is there? Hmm. That's not an old one, but it is Rainbird, I think. Yeah. I don't like Rainbird. Rainbird's new products. Their old ones were pretty decent. Nope. Hmm. No, that's not one either. But, um... There's more companies than Rainbird that did those sprinklers. For example, this one is Orbit. This is a three... Actually, no, it's a 90 degree. I almost said 360. But, it's an Orbit one. Pops up like that. One-fourth. Which means nine, which means 90 degrees. So, coming back here. Oh, and by the way, you remember this one back here? This sprinkler. It was uh, spraying onto the porch. I fixed that. I replaced the nozzle with the Hunter one that came with the Pro Spray over there. That has the. Uh, I replaced it with the MP rotator, but I still had the nozzle laying around, so I put it here. It's an adjustable arc, too. Like, you just grab it and twist it. And if you're wondering what that beep is, it's my watch. So I, you just grab it and twist it.
to make it bigger or smaller, so I made it 90 degrees so it doesn't spray onto the porch anymore. And I, I guess I'll do a demonstration of that after the video. After I'm done showing you all the ones we have in those in that chest. Alright. Where's the one I found today? Right there. Didn't know about that till today. And uh, when I say that, I mean it, okay? I didn't know about these. There's another one. Let's see if it's in a straight line. It's a straight... Nah, it's just a little offset. And I also... In the backyard... Oh, look at that. Someone else's sprinklers are turning on. Dang, that's a lot for that zone. Here, look. Look at that. There's like... Maybe... Six, seven. And by the way, over there, in that yard, there's rotors, fast rotors. And also in the back, I I knew about this sprinkler, but I didn't know that it was an old rainbird. So let's head back. The, I have unlocked the gate already. Alright, there's that one. This is a, I, I love these ones. Here's the ones I'm not going to replace. This one, when I do get around to replacing them all with Hunter, I'm not. I'm not going to replace this one. I am not going to replace. Where is it? This one, the other Rainbird one, or where is it? This one, this one that pops up. I don't know what the brand is. But this little thing in there pops up. Here, I'll refocus. So, this part pops up. The little metal thing in there. It says Buckner IND Incorporated. But, we're not going to be replacing this one. Because it's really cool. There's also another one up here that might be an old Rainbird. But I'm not exactly sure. No, it's not an old Rainbird. It's, an, it's a newer, crappier Rainbird one. And this one over here that I knew about. But I did not know what kind it was. Hallelujah. The Rainbird 2800A. Only good thing that came from Rainbird. I'm sorry, Rainbird, but... I am subscribed to Rainbird's channel, though. Because I like watching their videos. They make good impact sprinklers. I don't know if Hunter makes impact sprinklers, but I like their impact sprinklers. There's the other Rainbird. I think that's all the Rainbird ones we have. Oh, and one more thing to point out before I'm done. This, um, I originally thought, actually, two more things to point out. I originally thought this was Toro. K-Rain. It's K-Rain. I can't really pull it up. I used to be able to. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. It's a 180. It pops up a little too high. And this, and it just, it snaps down. It doesn't go slowly like the, uh, Hunter Pro Spray. Last thing to point out. I said this one's Watermaster. It is Watermaster, but Orbit owns Watermaster, so. It might be the U. Nah, it's not the U doesn't have the U. Can't, I can't wait to replace all these with MP rotators. And here's our garden. My mom's garden, actually. And a peach tree over there. Oh, wait. Watch this. I'll try to refocus. Ah, uh, that didn't work too well. Oh, well. I was trying to film the sun. But the camera didn't focus too well. I saw this camera at Costco today. It is a really nice Sony one. It films full HD. It's got 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And it auto focuses when you're filming. So, if I ever get that, because I think it films in, M in MOV, which is an Apple format, um, I'll be using that, and I won't have to be stopping the camera to refocus. Alright, I'm going back inside. 
so lock that and lock this and go to the garage it's time to show you what's inside the chest of drawers let's start at the top Here we have an empty Hunter ro MP rotator bag, which is what I took that nozzle out of, the adjustable one. And then here is a U orbit brass head nozzle with a filter, which is the one I replaced in my video called the Hunt Bits Rotary Sprinkler. That's not the whole title. Alright, anyway. So in here, we have some spigots, some, a switch, another spigot orbit thing. These, are, these look like they're hot water ones, ones that you would put on a hot water, hot water source. And I have this switch thing. I'm not sure where it would go. But it looks, it reminds me of a relay. But, yeah. So here's this orbit, 4 inch spring loaded pop up with plastic nozzle. Alright, that's about it for that drawer. This one, we get more into the sprinklers. Um, this filter is what I pulled out. It looks like there's like sand or something, and that's what I pulled out, and it looks like it's bent also. Let me find that rainbird one that I pulled out. That's a 90 degree. This is, I think this is it. This is the one I pulled out of it. Because I didn't, I didn't like it. Because it was a, one, it was a 180. So I put a hunter there. Here's a filter. I have a Toro. With a cap, with a thing, a Toro MRN. No, MPR. 15 foot and this thing. two inch pop up. Oh, this is the water master orbit water master. That's also water master. Let me see what this one says orbit water master, but it's an orbit. So I guess orbit owns water master or owned them. All right. My favorite drawer. You guys are gonna love this. It's broken. Just look at all of the old stuff. Look at this. We have an Orbit one that has no retraction spring. There is no retraction spring in these ones because they're so heavy. And here we have a Rainbird 2800A. Also, no retraction spring. None of these have retraction springs because they're so heavy. The heads, the pop-up thing. This looks like it's a two-inch pop-up. This one looks like it was installed at one point. Champion, Los Angeles. Again, no retraction spring. It actually looks like a Orbit one. This is an Orbit 360. Rainbird one that looks like it got screwed up with a lawnmower. Rainbird, 90 degree. 2800A and another Rainbird 180 with a U and the Rainbird flush cap, cap flush nozzle which is totally useless because what I do to flush it I just take the nozzle off and run <laughs> but I guess what it what it does is it just sprays straight up and as Hunter says you're left with a mess <laughs> Here's another K Rain. That's their logo. If you've never heard of it before. Alright, guys. Orbit time. Um, I need to close it for this. Um, I'm going to stop the camera for a I bet you're wondering what's so special about this. First, let's take a look at the gigantic filter. This is another one of the only likes from Orbit. This is one of their only things that I like. Alright, so we have this thing right here that spins 
Yep, that's right. It's a rainbird. I mean, uh, Orbit Saturn 3. Yeah, Orbit Saturn 3 rotor. So. Like I just rotated it a little bit, cause you can. That's how you adjust it. You turn it. But anyway, that's, we have three of these. So yeah, we got three of those. Three of the orbit ones like this. Saturn three, cause it uses a flathead screwdriver. Saturn fours use um. That tool. It looks surprisingly just like the Hunter adjustment tool. Champion that I didn't notice. Oh wait, no, that's a rainbird. Wait a minute. Rainbird Glendora CA. That looks just like the champion. Look at this. So here's the champion that has some pipe on it. Look at this. It looks exactly the same. Now I wonder. It totally looks like Orbit or Rainbird were buying off of each other. Because look at that. Rainbird, Orbit. Either Rainbird bought off of Orbit or Orbit bought off of Rainbird. I'm not sure. So. Ugh, my back hurts. So we have this Toro. Toro thing, 360. Full circle. Minimum is, minimum, uh, hold on, I need to refocus. Boom, that's the GPM. So, and for those who do not know, Rain, uh, Hunter, Hunter, um, MP Rotator, they use point three nine. their, their, pre their precipitation rate is point three nine inches per hour. Um, they use point five gallons per minute. Uh, no matter what. Well, I don't know about the gallons per minute, but I know the, uh, the, uh, thing, the, uh, precipitation rate is the same, no matter what. No matter how far it's going. Alright, we have another Orbit Saturn 3. We have three, as I said. One, two, three. And another Toro Half Circle 180. The NPR Fan Spray. There's two in there. It reminds me of Hunter for some reason. No, it's not, it's Toro. And uh, again, the Rainbird flush cap, flush nozzle. Oops. Alright, well, that's pretty much it. Um, well, if you have watched this video or snuck your way through it just to see what I did with the uh, one, congratulations here. It's on zone six. Oh. Two minutes. Start. I need to put the wrist strap on. Oh, and there's the orbit one in action. Orbit thing. Orbit's um. Orbit's metal one. Here it is. So as you can see, I have it set for a 90 degree arc, 90 degree arc, um, and uh, it sprays pretty far. I like that. And there's that Rainbird one under there.
What the heck? I hear water running under this bush. But there can't be another head. Maybe it's more of this stuff. Like, those things that look like they were for a sprinkler system. But I, I do hear water running under that bush. But I don't think there's another head. I doubt it. And there they went. I think that there is. I think there's another head under there. I think there is, because I, I heard that that slurp sound. I think there's another head under there. But I can't confirm that. So, possibly 37, definitely 36. And I have some issues with this thing lately. So, I, I swear, I hear one under that bush. But I don't know if there is another head. But I do definitely hear water running under this bush. I really don't know, guys. It's kind of a mystery. That's a mystery to me now. I don't see anything. I think there is. Ow, I just hit my head on this flower thing. Uh, I think that there is, so yeah. Pretty weird. Well, that's a mystery. Come on, there. That's kind of a mystery. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know for sure. Maybe that's why this bush is so green. Because there's a, uh, possibly a sprinkler under it, but I don't know if there is or not. I, I'm pretty confident that there is, that I heard that water running in that thing, that slurp sound when it shut off and my memory card's about to be full. Alright everybody, if you're wondering why I'm filming portrait right now, it's because I'm about to replace the sprinkler. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be landscape, but look. That is a huge sprinkler. It's an Orbit 12 inch with an MP rotator on it. Now I know this video was pretty long because I started filming yesterday. But here we go. Let's rotate to landscape. The focus? Yeah. All right. So Dad is filming me now. I'm about to well replace this sprinkler with this Orbit 12 inch, and this is a Hunter adjustable nozzle. And there is sand in the pipe. Do you think I should flush that, or wait and see? I'll just I think it'll be fine. Is there some uh, Teflon tape on that? Yep. Don't go too tight. Alright. So yeah. it's above the ground and it pops up 12 inches. Alright, let's go see how it works. But I want to I wanna film the box. I'm actually filming with an iPhone right now because my uh, camera is full. So this video is still going to be in 480p. Sorry guys. Um, I'm going to edit it with iMovie tomorrow. Why did it not focus? Focus, there we go. Zone 6, manual. 3 minutes, start. Can't wait to get an auto-focusing camera. Because I like these cameras that you can adjust the... Whoa! Adjust the focus on. Well, it looks like it's spraying here. Hold this and all. It's spraying too much, man. You gotta turn it down. Where's your tool at? Sam? I'll grab it. 
got my tool. Here, focus. Go down to where the... What's we, wrong? What are you doing? Stop filming for a minute. Alright, here we go. Mom, you can go ahead and turn it on now. Okay, shut it off. And it does that big surge of water when it shuts down, which is pretty cool. So that's it for this whole video.